Here's another quick walkthrough of using the supply and demand model in practice. So we can use the supply and demand model to help us determine whether a supply side or demand side cause is having the greater effect on the market. So here's an example. Suppose news reports suggest an increase in demand for electric scooters. Maybe there's more consumer interest and an increase in supply. Maybe there's falling battery costs, which has the biggest impact. Boy, that's, I don't know, that is supposed to say biggest as I'm looking at or something I don't know, whatever so this is indeed supposed to be biggest we're investigating which is most influential the demand side shock or the supply side shock using the supply and demand model and this gives you some insights into how economists would use the supply and demand model kind of in practice to get insights into what's happening in a given market okay so if demand is most influential I'm gonna sketch out the supply and demand model with a large demand shift and with a relatively small supply shift both are shifting to the right. We're told we have an increase in demand due to consumer interest in these scooters. We have an increase in supply due to like falling battery costs. And we notice if this happens, rises and the price rises. So if demand is most influential, price rises and quantity rises. What if supply is more influential? If supply is more influential, now I'm going to shift and a large supply shift. Think about this. It's going gonna, it's gonna to flood the market, push the price down. Well, we're going to get price falling. We're going to get quantity rises. You think of like demand as like, this is like hype and like really competing with each other to drive the price up in the demand case. In the supply case, the market's been flooded and so the price falls. That's the difference. Over here, price rises. Over here, price falls. Rises and quantity rises. When supply is most influential, we see price falling and quantity rising. We see that from our picture. So how to know which has the biggest effect? Well, you'd clear there's disagreement on price in this case. So it could have been, in, depending on the, the combination and the directions of shifts, it could have been quantity where there's a disagreement for an increase in supply and an increase in So here we'd want to collect information on the variable where there's disagreement, in this case, better explanation for what happened in a particular increase in supply was was demand or supply, 